<laughs> Hello everybody, good evening. Uh, it's Carrie and Parker. Parker. Uh, thanks for joining us on our Wednesday cooking demo. I'm excited that you joined us. I was able to wrangle one of the boys in. <laughs> so for those of you that are watching for the first time joining us, I'm Carrie Barfoot. I'm an Epicure consultant. I've been with Epicure for 14 years. I have three boys, Parker and his twin brother, Preston, who are 10, yeah, and, yeah. and Patrick, who's 13. So if you do the math, they've been with Epicure their whole life. So you know nothing other than Epicure meals, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so every Wednesday at eight o'clock, we do a cooking demo and we bring you into our kitchen to share a little bit of what we cook, uh, because as a busy family and a mama of energetic boys, <laughs> we need quick, we need fast, we need fa family friendly meals. So today we're going to do a brand new product for our new lineup in 2022, which is the Tropical Pineapple Chicken. Yummy! You can get this a la carte on its own or in a sheet pan five pack collection, which is pretty cool. So you ready to help me, buddy? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get started. We've got um, chicken in here, about 450 grams. I've already sliced it up. If you want to pour that into the bowl, so just put that in there. I'm gonna get him to start mixing up the ingredients. So sliced up chicken, about 450 grams. You can open this up and pour it on top. Cut it from the bottom, the bottom of the pouch. If you cut it from the bottom, the, the pouch will stand up if you want to take social media pictures, if you're a fellow consultant. We're going to slice up one bell pepper, any color. When I do my bell peppers, I like to take one slice and locate where the seeds are and then strategically cut around those seeds so that we don't make a huge mess. And then it's all in one piece here and we can send that out and give those to our rabbits. I'm using our black ceramic knife. I call it the black beauty. It's called our black chef knife and it is extremely sharp it is such an amazing workhorse in your kitchen they say more accidents happen in the kitchen with a dull knife and i agree with that so if you want to invest in a really awesome knife that will cut like look how it cuts through this pepper it's just it's gorgeous it'll cut through a tomato like butter I wish these scissors were like that. Oh, here, sweetie. Okay, so you want, <laughs> you want the seasoning to be down here so that makes it easy for cutting. It, it hasn't cut. Like... Maybe it's just the angle you're cutting on, honey, because these scissors are really sharp. There we go. <laughs> All good. So Parker was using our Prep Pro scissors. They're our kitchen shears. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here. You can start stirring that chicken and peppers and seasoning together, sure. Um, the next thing we want is a red onion. It says a small red onion. This is obviously not small, so I'm just gonna do about half of it. I hate cutting onions. My eyes like bleed, <laughs> they like, cry, they are so sensitive. This is when I use our mandolin. This is another great little workhorse. So this is our four-in-one mandolin. It comes with four different settings. Right now I have it on the 3.5 millimeter cut, which is a nice thicker cut, great for onions. Just place it on the mandolin. Take your guard, which has these nice teeth, which will stick right into the vegetable and hold the vegetable. And I'm gonna do about half the onion. It's like that. So look how quick that is to slice up an onion. I'm gonna give it, maybe give it a chop in half and you can stir that in there. Okay, next thing we're gonna add is about a 400 milliliter uh, can of uh, chunked pineapple with the juice. Yummy. Yeah, and then two cups of snap peas. Yummy. Ooh, it's getting full. And, got a bigger bowl. and then all you have to do is toss that up. Let me get you a bigger spatula. Might be a little bit easier for you to get in there. Oh, that's <laughs> so what I love about these sheet pan meals is you literally just mix all the ingredients together, throw it on the sheet pan, pop it in the oven, one and done. Like it's that simple. So we're gonna pop this on our sheet pan in the oven at 425 degrees for about 16 minutes. This is a great example of who we are at Epicare. We're raw to ready in under 20 minutes. Quick, fast, effective, family-friendly, and delicious. 
So as I said, this tropical uh, pineapple chicken, you can purchase this in a three pack, or we have a brand new collection called the sheet pan collection, and you get five different sheet pan meals under $20. So rod ready under 20, five meals under 20 bucks. Okay, that's perfect. So I'm just gonna throw this on the sheet pan. Is it all mixed up, babe? Yep. Oh, it smells good, doesn't it? Yum. Oh, wow. Get all that seasoning. Pop this on our sheet pan. So you'll notice I'm using our large Epicure sheet pan here, and I have it lined with an Epicure silicone sheet pan liner, which basically is like reusable parchment paper. Does every cookie sheet that we put in the oven have one of those liners on it? Yeah. <laughs> Why do we use a liner? Do you know, Parker? Um, since it keeps like the pan clean. You got it, dude. So if you can see my sheet pan, it is still fairly shiny and I've had them for years. Um, it, it just makes it mess free. That way we're not scrubbing dishes because there's, I don't think there's anybody in this house that likes doing dishes, is there? Well, you like doing them. I do not like doing them. I just get stuck doing them. <laughs> All right, so that's it. We're going to take this. We're going to pop this in the oven. Do you want to put it in? Sure. All right. Pop that in. Good. Good. Whoops. <laughs> there. We dropped a pepper. We better pick that up where it burns on the bottom of the oven. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Set our timer, 16 minutes. Here we go. Thanks for your help. So now Parker's gonna wash these dishes because he loves doing dishes. <laughs> we'll see you back in 16 minutes. So while our sheet pan is cooking, we're going to do the rice. So I'm gonna actually show you guys two different ways that we do it. Uh, so new year, new health goals. I'm trying to reduce some of my carbs. So I'm going to actually be doing cauliflower rice for myself. I'm um, using our Epicare round silicone steamer. I have packed it full with probably the biggest head of cauliflower I've ever seen. <laughs> and I'm gonna put this in the microwave, no water, no liquid for about 10 minutes to cook my cauliflower. And then I will um, break it up and rice it. I won't obviously use this all for one meal. So what I do is I rice it, I lay it in um, um, a Ziploc baggie, and I just break off chunks and rewarm it every time I need it instead of rice. So whole head of cauliflower in your Epicare steamer. You could do the round steamer or the multi-purpose. They're both big enough. About 10 minutes, no liquid perfection it's that easy to do your roasted cauliflower so that's what i'm going to do for mine for cauliflower rice and then what we're going to do for the boys is they're like heck no we want real rice right mm -hmm. <laughs> so to make rice in your epicure multi-purpose steamer it's very very simple you're going to add one cup of rice to one and a half cups of water so we're going to add can you hold that measuring cup for me I buy balsamati rice in a huge bag and then I use an old protein container. Not yet. So I'm going to fill up two cups. Oops, sorry. Okay, one. Now, I'm, so I'm doubling this batch. So it's one cup rice, one and a half cups water. But I'm doing a double batch because my boys eat a lot and they love to have leftovers, especially when Phil likes to have leftovers. So that means if I'm doubling it, it's five cups of water. Now at this point, you could actually add a little bit of our Epicure broth, the new ramen broth, the miso, the vegetable, the nourish, adds a really nice flavor. Actually the vegetable broth um, adds a whole bunch of little chopped up veggies in there. Really great. We're gonna do a plain Jane for tonight's recipe. Now what you're gonna do is make sure you do not put the lid on when you're making the rice. It will make it kind of sticky. You wanna actually use the insert tray that comes with your multi-purpose steamer. That's right, so pop that on. And then in the microwave for 15 minutes. Set it and forget it. And literally, it's like the best balsamati rice you've ever had. No worrying about boiling over on the stovetop. It is perfect every time. So I'm going to do a double batch of rice 
15 minutes in the microwave. And I'm also gonna do up a whole head of cauliflower, about 10 minutes. I'm gonna rice it and I'm gonna freeze it and have it so that anytime we have a meal with rice, I'll be able to pull some of this out for myself. Okay, so our chicken is done, that's 16 minutes. I'm gonna pull it out. Do you wanna shut the oven for me, sweetie? I'm using our roll-up rack here to put our sheet pan on. I love this roll-up rack. I actually have two of them. I keep one on the kitchen sink for washing dishes and washing veggies, and I use another one. I'm always putting it on the kitchen table so that I can just set that sheet pan or wok or frying pan right on top of it. It's a really great like cooling rack or hot pad. There we go. There is our tropical sheet pan chicken done in 16 minutes. The chicken Oh my gosh, I'm gonna break a piece. Like it is perfect, perfectly white, cooly looking chicken. The veggies are just perfectly cooked. So there we go. Toss everything together, throw it on a sheet pan, under 20 minutes you have dinner. <laughs> this is our other roll up rack. We use that one on the kitchen sink and this one we use for like a, a hot pad. Uh, so we're just waiting for the cauliflower and the rice to finish up and dinner will, will be served. <laughs> okay, so the rice is in the microwave now. The cauliflower is done. So that was, woof, 10 minutes mm. in the round steamer. A whole head of cauliflower. No water. You don't add any water, any liquid. It literally steams in its own juices, keeping all the nutrients locked in the food. Then my favorite tool is this one here. It's called the ground meat separator, um, but I'm gonna use it actually to rice the cauliflower. It looks like a boat motor. <laughs> it looks like a boat yeah. motor. So just mash that cauliflower. Like that? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let me, I'm just gonna show them, okay? What you've done so far. Pretty awesome, eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so we are now ready to show you the final meal. <laughs> We've done two options of rice. So that was 15 minutes in the microwave. We're just going to pop this tray out. Okay, I'm just going to throw that in the sink. Whoa, it's like a line. <laughs> Do you want me to show them it before you... Um, Toss it, it all up. Okay, Fine. perfect. So we did a double batch. So it is one cup rice, two and a half cups of water. But because we did a double, two cups rice, five cups water. And that fills the steamer. Balsamati rice, just set it, forget it, 15 minutes in the microwave. It's fluffy, it's amazing. We usually toss in a little bit of butter and a little bit of salt and the kids just and my husband love the rice done this way. Um, there'll be lots for leftovers as well. And then I did a head of cauliflower and riced it. So one head of cauliflower was 10 minutes and I just break it apart using the ground meat separator from Epicure and I have a whole thing of riced cauliflower that I can freeze for future meals. And then of course we did our sheet pan meal, the tropical pineapple chicken. Um, I do want to note too, I have quite a few teammates that have mentioned that they don't love pineapple. Um, so they just took the pineapple at, out and you can really get creative just using this seasoning. You could add corn, different veggies, anything. Okay, so you don't have to stick with those exact veggies. That just kind of gives you your base recipe and then you can go from there. Okay, so Rod ready, 20 minutes, new sheet pan tropical chicken, cauliflowered rice, Balsamati rice using our Epicure steamer. And as we finish up, I just want to remind you that we have three ways you can shop with us. If you're inspired by any of these recipes, please feel free to jump on our website, carriebarfoot.com, or go to your consultant's website, purchase these products. They'll be delivered right to your house anywhere in North America, Canada, and the US. Second way is to save. Are you having a hard time not laughing? Because his twin brother's on the other side of this camera doing goofy things. <laughs> Carefully, you don't tip that camera over. Okay, okay. so <laughs> uh, it's like the do not laugh challenge. 
Uh, the second way is to save. So if you want to save on these products, the best way to do that is to host with me. Whether we do it in person for a live cooking class in your home, or we do it virtual, we bring your friends together. I will share recipes, meal inspiration, kitchen hacks, giveaway prizes, and you as a host for bringing us together will get your shopping free and half price. So please message me about all of my offers for hosting. And the third way is to actually profit and to make money. So if you guys are cooking breakfast, lunch, or dinner anyhow, you want to start incorporating Epicure into your meals, why not make a stream of income and never pay full price for Epicure again? Message me and I'd love to give you some details on that. Thank you for helping me tonight, Parker. And uh, I hope you will join us back every Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Have a great night, everyone. Bye.